When you want to move, you're moving. And when you move, you are determined. To What's up, Crypto Nation? Welcome to Bite Size Bitcoin and B90X Day 32. Today, we're going to be moving into a whole new section. We're going to be talking about trading psychology and we're going to start off with mind games. So let's jump right into it, guys. Here we go. B90X. Bring it. Yeah. All right, so we have spent so much time over the last 31 days talking about how to create a crypto lifestyle for the first 10 days or so. And the next 20 days, we've talked about all the ideas around charting from candlestick archetypes to support lines, resistance lines, to trending lines, to uh, MACD and moving averages and RSI. Now we're gonna be moving more into the mind games. While technical analysis is good, however, the psychological aspect of trading plays an even more important role. So let's talk about a couple things around mind games. First, you have to watch yesterday's episode. If you're just starting out with us in our B90X program, you have to watch day 31. In day 31, last episode, we talked about setting goals. It's so crucial that before you make a trade, you actually set some goals. And so there's a lot of important things to that. Not only does it help you engage in trading and investing in a rational manner but the goals help ground you around hey the uh help ground you around the oscillations of this really volatile cryptocurrency market so take take some time make sure that you watch the previous video on goal settings however even with setting goals we still must master the mind should i do anything i have made up my mind and that's it baby you better kill me before. Two things are required to master the mind. First off, it's a presence of mind, understanding your current situation, being situationally aware of your emotional context as you are moving into a trading session. And number two, having the discipline to keep a straight head about you. But before we get into that, we have to talk about the two biggest psychological factors that will affect your trading nonstop. The first is fear. Booyah, fear. You guys have probably heard fear, uncertainty, doubt, right? FOMO, fear of missing out. Yes, this is all true. But let's just look at the basics of what makes fear, fear. Fear is essentially a natural reaction to what we perceive as a threat or in cryptocurrency investing, what we perceive as a threat to our money making potential. So how do we overcome our fears? Well, the best way to overcome our fears when it comes to moving into a trading session or any type of fear in the cryptocurrency market is to qualify what that fear is. So qualifying the fear helps. What are you afraid of? And number two, why are you afraid of it? What makes you specifically afraid of this particular trade or exiting out of the market or seeing a lot of bloody red on the charts? What are you afraid of? Think on that. Meditate on that. Is it because you're playing with your bread money when you know you shouldn't be playing with your bread money? Come on, guys. You know you shouldn't be playing with your bread money. It could be one of those. Did you, did you invest too much? Did you overbuy? Did you risk a little bit of your, your bonus? There's a lot of reasons why we have fear and often fear comes from poor decision making previously. So if you set goals before you invest, you have less of a chance to get caught up in that fear. And so in summary, we want to consider your fears, consider your fears and considering those fears allows you to understand how you may instinctively react to that certain stimuli, stimuli right? After you've taken some time to qualify your fears, you can then isolate and identify those feelings during a trading session and focus on moving past that emotion. It really takes a lot of practice. And I don't want you to become mechanical when you're going through trading sessions, but I want you to be cognizant of how your emotions play into making decisions when you're about to click that mouse to buy or sell. Okay. And it really takes practice. So Next time you go through a trading session, I would like for you to be a little bit extra cognizant 
of how your emotions are playing on your decision making process. And if you'd like, I'd love for you to leave a, leave a comment below in the Bitcoin pub on this thread and let us know what you learned. So let's go on to the second biggest psychological emotion. It's greed. Greed, greed, greed. Greed really is your worst enemy. And it really, what it, greed essentially does is it causes you to hang on. And it's really not easy to overcome this emotion. I think that we as humans instinctively always want to try to do better and just get a little bit more. And so that greed plays itself out exponentially well in cryptocurrency, because as you guys well know, man, when we take a dive, sometimes we take a dive and we dive hard, right? And so that greed can set you up for a lot, a lot of failure, especially if you hold on too long. So what's the short answer? Well, it was B90X day 31, which is about setting goals, which you can watch uh, at your own leisure. but. There's one more thing that you can certainly help when overcoming fear and overcoming greed. It's creating trading rules, trading rules. And so most people, when they think about trading rules, they think about, you know, entry points, exit points, price targets, these types of things. But I'd like you to consider some other rules that you might not have thought of. Rules would be like, what is the minimum I need to know about a coin? Interesting idea, right? For me, I have internal rules that I set for myself and I use our coin review template that, that you can find right here. I use our coin review template before I make any significant investment into that coin. And you can find that on the Bitcoin pub for sure. Another question to ask yourself when you're creating your own trading rules is how much, how much research is enough for you? You might not want to use the entire coin template before you make a purchase. However, I highly suggest you do. For some of you guys, you might want to create simple rules around, hey, what do I need to know about them? What are the basic things that I need to know about this coin? Is the coin capped? Is it an inflationary or deflationary currency? Pretty important. Uh, how's the... How's the starting team? What's the problem they're trying to solve? These types of things are really important for you, at least internally, to set. And the reason is, is because if you go through these rules each time, you will have a more rational and more comfortable approach to purchasing or investing in that coin. Another way to ensure that you have enough rules set for you in terms of trading is go through the last 31 days of our B90X program. We have gone through so many helpful tips and trips, personal life hacks that can help you set your own goals. Another, another trading rule that you might want to also include is setting limits on what you win or lose during a session time. X profit, you're done for the day. Y loss, you're also done for the day. Experiment with your own trading rules. Consider other options like mitigation of risk or setting stop losses at a different place than you usually do. So continue to experiment on your own rules, but at the end of the day, you wanna have a pretty solid mental list, if not mental, write it down, but a pretty solid list of rules that you will go through methodically each time as you go into a trading session or before you invest in a coin. Finally, the most important part about this whole mind games and market psychology that we're going to be moving into in this next, uh, these next sections of B90X is review, retrospect, review, retrospect, review, and retrospect. I cannot say it enough. As you learn and as you grow as a cryptocurrency investor and a cryptocurrency trader, you will have to be disciplined to retrospect and review what you're actually doing. If you do not review and assess your portfolio performance, if you do not review your own individual returns or individual positions, if you do not review your own market psychology, how fear and greed affects your decision making, then you will constantly be a man or woman who is blown around by the winds of change in our cryptocurrency economy. And so you have to continue to review it in retrospect. Hey, what happened last time? How did this market affect me in this last purchase? How, how did I get affected by the China FUD or the, the, you know, the US SEC regulation? What happened when this particular coin tanked, right? All of these are very powerful lessons for you to take back and internalize so that you either continue positive behavior patterns 
and you remove negative behavior patterns. One way to track your coins, if you're so interested, is making sure that you use a, our altcoin review sheet that you can find in the pub over here. So make sure that you download that. That will allow you to manage your own portfolio in a very simple way. You can download it in Google document format and it's really simple to use. Another thing to review is how did you prepare for your trading sessions? How did you prepare? Did you actually go through your rules or did you jump right in because someone said that this is a good coin to buy, right? And so it's very important for you to continue to review not only after or retrospect after you went through a trading session, but also review how did you prepare? Were you in the right mindset? Did you just get out of an argument with your significant other? That affects your behavior patterns during that session. Did you just have a great day and you're feeling like the world is yours and everything is up even though it's really red, right? All of these contextual emotions from your life affect the way that you trade. And so it's very important for us to be cognizant as to how we behave and how we react to particular stimuli, whether it's outside stimuli or internal stimuli. At the end of the day, you want to constantly retrospect and review so that you can correct mistakes that will enhance your overall returns over time. So I hope this was a helpful introduction to market psychology, greed, fear, setting goals, setting your own trading rules, and using templates so that you can become a more informed and rational cryptocurrency investor and trader so that you can live that long-term cryptocurrency lifestyle that we all enjoy. Why? Because the more you persevere in this, my friends, the more that you ensure that your ticket to the moon is absolutely safe. Because we're going to the moon, guys. We're totally going to the moon. <laughs> hey, what's up? If you enjoyed this video and you're new here, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. But wait, there's more. We love building stuff. We want to build more and we want to build it bigger and we want to build it faster and we need your help to do it. Our Patreon subscribers, our pub crawlers, our crypto pirates and our cryptonauts are helping us build even more of the content that you love and enjoy and we want to build even more. As a patron subscriber, you get behind the scenes access of news, information, and events that only subscribers have access to, as well as you get to have your direct hand in helping us build better guides, tutorials, walkthroughs, and mobile apps like Android and iOS apps for the crypto nation. Plus, you get to call yourself a crypto pirate or a cryptonaut. What's better than that? If you're interested in helping us build this spaceship, I'd love for you to consider becoming a patron subscriber at patreon.com slash pub. You can click this link over here to find out more information on that. Thanks so much again for watching this video and I hope to see you guys either on the spaceship or in the Bitcoin pub. Thanks again, guys. We are going to the moon.